Hi everybody, so I will uh, introduce you to Archery Tune application running under Android system like uh, this uh, one, but also you can find it in Apple Store. So once you click onto the icon, you find few uh, first menu where you will have the choice about free and sub application one to tune your scope of your compound bow one which allow you to measure and to tune the fork of your arrow and also here you will have the ability to uh, to see your such charts then <coughs> i will proceed to uh, to show you the application Mind that we have two special uh, here buttons, one to back from a menu to an, the underlayer one, and one here to come back to this home menu. So let's proceed to the scope sub application. So the idea behind this application is to show you the images of the target you will see through your scope lens. So you have the ability to show different type of target. For instance, if you are shooting indoor, you are familiar to shoot to uh, this free sports vertical one in Europe. Then <clears throat> to show the images, you have to fill few parameters. One is dealing with the distance between your eyes and your scope. The power of the lenses, for instance, here in the opter unit. So the distance in indoor shooting is 18 meters here. You have the shows of a scope diameter. For instance, I will choose not 42 millimeters, but the most 29 millimeter adapted for the shooting. And you have also the choice to define the diameter of your dots. Once you have proceeded to the things with parameters, you press OK, and then you'll see through your land, scope lenses here how the target looks like. Fine, you have three, three spots, you see everything, and you can see also that the dot is mostly on the 10 of your target. Here you have two numbers, remind all the times, the target distance and also the amount of target you will see through your scope. With your finger you can also appreciate how through your scope you see the images moving. You can come back through this uh, uh, here button. Now <clears throat> you can decide to come back to another menu twice for instance and look at what in Fita Outdoor, outdoor you will see four 2x2 two two, in fact targets in compound bow computation. Let's for instance have a uh, Lens is more powerful. I will take, for instance, one diopter. The scope also will change to the 229 millimeter diameter, and also I will change the dots to 8 millimeter. You see here, let's say, a number of part. Okay, so you press OK to validate and another one OK to validate. You see here, in fact, one of the fourth target. Huh? And you see that you don't master all the target. OK? And the dot is almostly uh, the nine size. So maybe I can adjust the distance between my scope and my eyes 
Okay, let's take for instance dot seven six meter or uh, you can correct for instance dot seven. Okay, it is in meter. Okay, you press, you press again. Okay, then you see all the target and you appreciate also that your dot is mostly thinning all the yellow part, which is can be an accurate way to, to point, pinpoint the 10. And you see that when you is, uh, go outside your own dar target, you see the different target of your shooter adversary. And then <clears throat> you can choose the right one, of course. Now, if you are, if you wish to go to field competition, then exactly you can have the same kind of parameter to fill. For instance, in this way, I will choose a large scope, a slow, uh, very low, powerful uh, diopter, for instance, and I keep these uh, small dots. What happens? Okay, so I can see most of the, all the target and choose the right one to pick down mine. So you have now the opportunity to scope all the usual competition target. Now in France, we have also 2D animals competitions. For instance, it's big camel can have seen through this kind of scope parameters and hopefully you scope all the picture and you can pick down the keening sector here. But you can also appreciate that this scope may be adequate also for smaller one, okay, birdie one. So imagine you have this here, the same scope, but now the target is at 10 meters. Okay? And you see, but you can master most of the power picture and you can pick down the killer dot here. So it's nice. You have chosen the right scope, but you can feel better with different parameters as you wish. So this sub-application is the first one that you can choose here. You have also so the FOC adjustment or measurement. You can measure your FOC given the length of the, ta the total arrows and the knock and balance point distances. And then pressing the OK button, you will have the opportunity to get here the right answer of your fork, the measure version, if you want. Maybe it will be the wrong target you want to put down your correct fork. So you can have the opportunity to ask yourself what is, for my, for instance, total hour weight I measure, let's say 350 gram. Okay. I measure a fork of, let's say, 14%, okay, but I would like to have, for instance, 13, sorry, you can correct, 13%. What's going on? You validate here, and then the program tells you that you have to remove 9.5 grain of your points. So, you can proceed to do that. So, it's this application. Now, we have a third version here where you can give all the different weight of the different pieces of your arrows and then you can compute the fork approximate, appro approximation of your fork. So now, the third sub-application, side charts, is dealing with the side chart you will have to put in your site to get the right distance of your target. Now, 
To do so, you have to fill a few parameters. For instance, the distance between your eye and your scope, the distance of the knock of the arrow and your eyes, the slope of the field, zero degree means a flat field, and the arrow speed. The last parameter is, for convention, between, let's say, the millimeters and your sight arbitrary units. Let's say I fill this parameter. What pressing OK will give you? It will give you a two column table. Here the distance in meters, 5 is a reference in this sense, and then positive number give you the, uh, the right answer to upload your site and negative will be to download your site. So for instance between 5 meters and 15 meters I have to upload my site by 7.9 millimeters. But you can see that this is a maximum. Afterwards the site is download and 40 meters in this uh, example is the same as 5 meters and then the site should be decreased much more to keep up to 60 meters target for instance. Maybe we will make some evolution of this presentation but for the time being it's a way you can compute your site charts. So it is the last application you have with Archer Retune. You can also make some, uh, let's say, uh, screen capture and mail them to some guys, friends. And also, for the last time, I wish to thank different people. First, myself, of course, I've designed the archery part. The software development has been made by a friend of me, Guy Baron. And also, I thank Actilia Multimedia Society, which provides some uh, images for the 2D animals. Now, thanks a lot. Enjoy this application, Archery Tune, and see you soon.